You know, in business, when we talk about having different voices in the room, we are often talking about making sure that there are different points of view and different perspectives in the conversation. And that's really important, but here's what else is just as important. The actual voice you have in the room. Now I say this because I was part of a all female baseball broadcast in Arizona. Every single one of us that were talking about baseball were women. It was significant for a few reasons, but I thought back to being in college when one of the um, barriers to entry, let's call it, was the actual sound of your voice. Even if you could prove to people that you knew sports, there was a large portion of the population that said they would never ever want to hear a woman talking about sports. Your voice had to be in a certain register and you had to have a certain kind of sound to make that even possible. I was one of the lucky ones. But when you think about having different voices in the room, there's a lot of things that I can change about myself, but your voice is a characteristic that kind of is what it is. So as we think about practicing leadership and how this shows up, make sure that you encourage people to speak up, not just for the ideas that they have, and let me be clear, those are very, very important, but also so that you can hear different voices in the room because that is just as important for encouraging others to speak up and to use their voice.